morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are and whatever the time is, Sveiki. Because that's how we say it in Latvia any time of the day. Sveiki and greetings to all of you, dear friends. Greetings in this very special day and in the honor of this very special event. And although, yes, physically we are still a little bit separated, digitally we're very well connected. Connected in, connected by and connected from Latvia, the country that is so honored to host this event. My name is Edgar Kuzmans and I'm just as thrilled and excited to be here with you today. And in the name of the whole organizing committee, I have to say you how privileged we are to welcome you all here in Latvia, at least digitally. I also have to mention you some of our friends and partners without whom this event would not be possible. They have uh, financially, intellectually and of course technically supported us and those are Sebank Latvia, LMT, University of Latvia, National Center for Education of Latvia, the Bank of Latvia and of course highest school of economics, Moscow, Russia. Thank you, dear supporters, thank you for making this event possible. But of course, the, through the two stars of this event, those are you, my friends. More than 200, 250 participants from more than 44 national teams, or to be precise, 44 national teams. You really are the stars of this event. You will meet and you will compete. And to wish you all the best and all the best of luck, I have the honor to give the floor to a very special guest for a welcome speech and to wish you some success. The President of Latvia, Mr. Egils Levitz. Dear participants and organizers, I'm glad to congratulate you in this joyful event. Also, it is not possible for me to greet you in person. I'm very pleased that Latvia has agreed to organize the fourth International Economics Olympiad. I'm sure that every student's road to their national team has been different. However, the start is almost always found at the regional level, where students are invited to start their own journey with encouragement from their parents, teachers and friends. The challenges that participants will face at this year's competition reflect the major real-life societal issues like pandemics, crime, unemployment, rise of automation and transition to sustainability. I am pleased to see students from so many countries investing their time in understanding and searching for practical solutions to these modern day challenges. I would like to congratulate the organizers of the International Economics Olympiad, especially the representatives of the Faculty of Business, Management, Economics of the University of Latvia. Your determination to organize this event and to welcome participants from more than 40 countries is truly commendable. Lastly, I wish the jury team of international academics and business representatives a fruitful work in deciding this year's winners. I wish all the participants exciting next few days and to enjoy the process of finding solutions to challenges. Have a great Olympiad and we will be cheering from the sidelines. Thank you, Mr. President. I really hope that you will cheer for these uh, really brilliant minds that are among us these days. Thank you for this inspiring uh, and also very, I have to say, sincere welcome speech. But now from one president to the other, because uh, we don't really know how many traditions in the world will have started, but we definitely know who stands behind the International Economics Olympiad. The godfather of this idea and the president of International Economics Olympiad, Daniel Fyodorovic. Daniel, it's yeah. a pleasure to host you digitally. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be there. Why am I so red on your screen? I'm wondering. Well, it's summer <laughs> outside and I hope that you have had some oh. vacation as well and not only prepared <laughs> for this event. Yeah. So thank you very much for giving me the floor and uh, dear friends, uh, as you all know, the, uh, well, a few days ago, the Tokyo Summer Olympic Games started in Japan almost in parallel with us. And they still call it Tokyo 2020, even though it's happening in 2021. I'm delighted that today we are launching the IO of the year 2021 
and we have an opportunity to actually call it IO 2021. That is, we didn't skip the last year. But last year, the pandemic hit us in the head with a brick. But we used this brick as a cornerstone in our community foundation. We increased the number of participating countries. We launched the IO Open Track opportunity, making the Olympia uh, accessible to all students worldwide. We conducted the IOX Winter Challenge. Maybe some of you participated in it. Um, countries where we have contestants now cover, as I've been told, more than a half, almost two thirds of the Earth's land area. Contrary to all Skepsis' opinions that I heard a lot during the last uh, one and a half years, the challenge helped us develop. Uh, we have learned a lot through this and we will use what we've learned when organizing this IEO and all the future IEOs. Uh, I'm confident that today, when Latvia actually takes the lead, it's a special day uh, for all members of the IEO family. Uh, the Olympic has grown from a small initiative launched by a group of enthusiasts from HSU University, where my team and I work, to a worldwide, round the year network of events, organizations, and most importantly, the network of people. HSC University still plays one of the essential roles, but I'm happy to say that the academic community which supports the IEO is growing. And I thank everyone in our community for doing what they do for the IEO. And especially this year, our brilliant team in Latvia, uh, all of you guys, the steering committee, I, I'm already looking forward to the great job that you are going to do this week. So, uh, actually, all the people uh, are all the people who are in our community make up the engine which keeps IO driving ahead. And actually, I'm thrilled to think about the amount of talent in the Zoom conference right now. I see that there are more than 200 participants. Uh, someone is unable to join because of time zones, of course. But the amount of talent in this Olympia is growing and growing. And uh, you're so talented, you're so skilled that I think we can ask you to do whatever. If we, if we ask our contestants to sing and dance, they will be great at it. But we will ask them to do very specific things this year, just as we did before. It's the financial literacy game, business case, and the economics part. Um, so the main IEO, uh, the main track of the IEO is a very selective event. You know, only the best come to participate. But everyone has the right to participate in science. Everyone has the right to participate and to be a part of the economic profession. In the IEO, we are constantly working towards extending the inclusiveness of the Olympiad and the open track that I've already mentioned and the winter challenge that I've already mentioned are perhaps our most significant achievements. I welcome all participants of the open track this year. You guys are making IEO the kind of Olympiad we want it to be. We intend to bring the whole world together, despite all political tensions, all economic downturns, any epidemiological hazards. And by the way, as I've been told also, we are among the most gender balanced international Olympiads uh, among all the subjects. So, and by the way, last but not least, I welcome the participants of the main track. Uh, you guys proved to be the game changer in your countries, and now, you are about to chase the most important awards that we have for you. Some of you will succeed, some of you will succeed less, but this Olympiad is only partially about the medals. Most importantly, it's about learning something new and meeting new people. So let's bring the world closer together again. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Daniel. And uh, let me use the opportunity while we are still digitally connected, let me ask you, as you mentioned, uh, it all started as an idea in Russia, then it grew unexpectedly. And last year, the colleagues of Kazakhstan had to take up the challenge, which they brilliantly solved in the turbulent times with the first online Olympiad. I remember from the welcome speech of last year, you said that you hope that 2021 we will all meet live. Unfortunately, this still was not possible, but we keep our fingers crossed. So my question would be very simple. Uh, I know that I, I won't ask you to um, predict the world economics for the next 10 years, but I can ask you, how do you see how, the, how your family, how your community will grow and how the Olympiad will look in 10 years? 
Well, thank, thank you for a very good question because I'm constantly thinking about, about this because, uh, of course, the Olympia, the way the Olympia was going to develop, the way it looked back in 2018 was completely different to what it turned out to be. And it's not only about pandemic, it's also about the uh, pace of growth of our community. As you correctly mentioned, the, this, this pace was uh, absolutely unexpected. And we have 44 countries and territories this year. Hopefully we will grow more. And from starting this year, and this, this, this is my message to my colleagues from the international board. This evening, I will address you with another speech. And I think that our focus must shift from growing exponentially in terms of the numbers to focusing on quality and growing in terms of the complexity, maybe, or maybe not the complexity, but uh, the, the, the, the tasks themselves, how interesting they are and how, how different they are, how relevant they are in terms of topics. So that's, I think, is our main goal for the next few years. And yes, hopefully, I think maybe in, in one year in two, or in two years, we will meet live in some country, in Latvia or in, so somewhere else, in Kazakhstan, Russia, China, Vietnam, we have 44 options. So I'm really looking forward for the opportunity to choose one of them. And I hope that everything you said will come true. And of course, I wish all the best to you and uh, this amazing community. So thank you thank for you uh, being with us. But uh, don't get uh, too far from the screen because I know that later on today, I will have the opportunity to speak to Daniel again. But now back to you, dear friends. Uh, you know, this week will be filled, of course, with competitions and with challenges. But it's also filled with fun and filled with inspiration. As Daniel said so nicely, this is not only about medals. Yes, it's a big part of this event, but it's also about growth, about really learning something new, about meeting new people and about getting new inspirations. This inspiration will come from the help of our guests and we will have plenty of them actually during this week. Just to mention a few of them, the president of the Bank of Latvia, Martin Kazaks, Ernst Young Baltics Assurance Partner Diana Krishana, Professor Michael Zobulakis of the University of Thessaly, Greece, economists Rafael Repuo and uh, Manuel Arellano of the Center of Monetary and Financial Studies in Spain, and many, many more. They will really be among us during this week and inspire us. But one of these inspirational personalities is right here among us today, a long-term friend of the Olympiad and the laureate of the Nobel Prize in Economics, Eric Maskin. Eric, I guess I have to say uh, good morning to you somewhere in the States, isn't that so? Yes, I'm speaking to you from the state of Michigan. Uh, it's uh, a little past eight o'clock in the morning here, but welcome to uh, to all participants. Uh, I think you have an exciting week ahead of you. Uh, now I have to confess that Karl Marx and I do not agree about everything, but one thing that we do agree on is that to understand society, to understand collections of people, you have to understand economics. And for a society to work well, it's essential that its economy work well. Economics is the subject that enables us to, to understand how an economy will operate and how to create an economy that operates well for all members of society. We've seen how important the economy is over the last year and a half. Uh, in the midst of a pandemic, economies don't always work so well. Uh, some countries have succeeded more than others in fighting recessions, in providing social safety nets for their public. And part of their success is that they understand basic economic principles. They understand when markets will work and when they're not likely to work so well without a helping hand. 
Well, by your very presence here, uh, I uh, imagine that you already have uh, a real interest in economics. I hope that through the Olympiad, your interest only deepens. And uh, I look forward to hearing about the exciting events that you will be participating in this week. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. And uh, I love the background because I think one of the principles of economics is this thinking that grass is always greener on the other side. So uh, thank you for being us. <laughs> well, plenty of green grass here. <laughs> So good luck um, there with the sunny weather in Michigan. And, and thank you so much for this uh, very honorable visit from your side. And uh, as I mentioned to you, dear friends, be prepared. There will be a lot of other inspiring guests coming up during this week. But I also mentioned uh, some of our friends and partners who have made this event possible and who have so much supported us and really helped us to make this quite challenging still in the times of the pandemics event possible these days. And some of them are live here with us in the studio in Riga. The first one uh, representing Sebank, board member of Sebank Latvia, Kristaps Strast. Dear participants, I am extremely humbled and honored to be able, on behalf of SCB, to address you uh, between so esteemed speakers, which you heard. So, this is a fantastic time to be a student, a student who has earned his or her place in this uh, uh, international competition. So, I am envious, and especially good it is to be a student in field of economics in these times when a number of uh, paradigm changes happening in the world. So to name few of them, negative interest rates across the world and first time uh, experiments by central banks which are trying to deal with it somehow, uh, technology change and subs uh, subsequent changes in business models of companies, how they operate, uh, there are definitely changes happening in uh, corporate cultures, so companies are moving from being more hierarchical ones to the ones where managers are leading by example, earning their uh, recognition and authority, not uh, by earning title, but uh, by contributing to the company. And of course, sustainability, which starts inevitably uh, to dominate financial uh, decisions, which was not the case before, but will be much more of that in the future. So all this is uh, super good news for you as, as new upcoming businessmen, businesswomen, uh, maybe employees in future companies. Uh, this is clearly giving competitive advantage to you versus existing workforce. Well, guys like me, who has always been taught in uh, schools that uh, interest rates can never be negative. But uh, still, there are a uh, few things which will stay, like uh, hard work to earn your success in, in life. And I'm sure with you being here, you have proved that you are ready for hard work and new challenges. Therefore, uh, on behalf of SCB, I want to say that uh, SCB is happy to support at least two things. Firstly, uh, it is ambitious young people who, are, who want to develop themselves and grow professionally in field of economics and finance, who want to contribute with new ideas to make uh, the world a better place for all of us. And some of these new ideas might come during this week, who knows. Uh, secondly, SCB is super happy to support also those companies who are uh, ready to transform with sustainability back in their minds. Uh, and those uh, new companies which are building up new businesses in a sustainable way. Uh, so uh, we will be evaluating uh, business solutions brought by teams and presented by teams during the week. And SCB will grant its award, its special award to the team 
who will come up with most interesting idea from sustainability angle. So on behalf of SCB team, I wish good luck to all participants and uh, express my appreciation to all organizers of this event. Have a great experience. Thank you, Christophs, for a very uh, down-to-earth and factful speech and already the first competition, actually, who was announced just now. And thank you, SCB, for being such a crucial partner of this event. Another one is LMT, who is actually physically hosting us in their uh, studio right now. So the next speaker didn't really have to come far, yet I'm very excited that he is here today with us. Ingmar Putjes, Vice President of LMT. Hello, dear participants of the uh, Olympiad. I come to you from the industries of information technologies and telecommunications. And our uh, industry has been dealing with uh, digitally changing the uh, planet for, for many years, for I would even say a few decades now. So actually you have been raised in the world and educated in the world that is fully wrapped in online technology. Uh, I remember I, my family got our first laptop when I was 12 years old. That was like 30 years ago, back in 1990. And that was why, because my, my father was a scientist and that was quite a exciting and life-changing even. However, the laptop was this thick and very heavy and still was uh, black and white. And of course, things have changed uh, since then. And of course, you are much more digitally native and then, of course, my generation was able to actually, uh, e e actually dream. And, of course, this is uh, having um, a big impact on the science of, ec uh, of economics. And, of course, this is a science <laughs> about uh, humans transformed into numbers and numbers and, and, and, and data. And you uh, trying to interpret what this data means about the past and sometimes e even about the future, luckily about the future. So uh, that's where... Uh, uh, the digital technology comes in because we are able with each new generation of technology bring more and more data about uh, humans, uh, about markets, about the uh, uh, customers. And that's where from my perspective of information technology and telecommunication company, I've, I would li like to highlight two big domains uh, of innovation that is coming into the scene that will have impact on on your uh, knowledge and your uh, your career one of those being uh, artificial intelligence of course and the other being uh, 5g technology that will again change the way how we are interconnected in between our, our in between ourselves and how we are connected to the uh, things that to everything that is around us and and fusing those two technologies, artificial intelligence and 5G, brings us the beautiful concept of digital twin, which is the idea that we will be, and we already are somewhat, ab able to create real life digital models of, of business processes and, uh, and, and social processes and objects that is around us. And actually the problem we are star starting to see now, and you will see it even more tomorrow, that there is too much data. Too much data and very, very it's very tricky to interpret it. So, so I believe that's, that's where you come into the play. So, because whatever the machines will do today or wha whatever machines will do in the future, there has to be some human who is able to interpret this data, make some sense, because human in human interactions and somewhat even the human nature is changing all the time and probably that is uh, one of the uh, great tasks of you uh, for for tomorrow and coming years but uh, f uh, for now for this olympiad this week uh, you have fun make new interactions uh, test your, your skills and uh, you will clearly need those in the future good luck thank you Thank you, Ingmar, for a sneak peek into the future of uh, economics and, of course, everything that surrounds us. Dear friends, uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, yes, 
physically we can't host you in Latvia, but uh, we really believe and we hope that one day you will have the possibility to visit our beautiful and inspiring country. If you still haven't done that, as I said, one day you will. And the reason why? Have a look. Where do I charge my soul when its batteries are low? Here, my land is my strength, our ancient songs, my guiding light. Amongst my people, I am at home. I never need to start from zero. I take the old and turn it into something new. The forest is my temple and my playing ground. It makes my spirit wise and strong. I wash away my doubts and fears to fight new battles, big and small. Resilience is in our blood. I don't give up even if my path is tough. And when I reach the top, it is a new beginning. Plug in. Let my pulse become your impulse and my strength, your inspiration. We are connected. We are one. Latvia, my power station by the Baltic Sea in Northern Europe. Our power station that will hopefully will be also your power station during this week of competitions because uh, we really believe that our nature and our history and our culture will give some extra strength to all of you as well. So now it's time to get to know you. Let's time, uh, it's time to really understand who will be competing this week and who are the superheroes of this competition. It's time for the team introduction. And uh, this will be divided in four parts. Uh, so you could see it as four series of one very equal and the same and very amazing TV show. So this is your moment to shine. We will get to know the teams. And here comes the first series. Okay, I'm Charles from Armenia and I'm a fan of Armenian and I'm Victoria from Armenia and I love reading. Fostuning, I'm Leo and I'm a huge fan of working out. I'm Jordi from Armenia and I'm an Olympic boxer. I'm Hai from Armenia and I love swimming. I'm Maria from Armenia. I love watching movies and football. I'm Vega from Armenia and I love playing piano. We have been triple champions of chess and astronomy. We have free drinking water fountains all across Armenia. Dari tim Indonesia. I'm Zulfan and I love watching football. My name is Kalisa Peroni Gunawan and I like hearing dad jokes. I'm Raisa and I love watching music festival. I'm Evan and I love playing music. My name is Zidan and I love comedy. So, kami dari tim Indonesia. Our competitive advantage is diversity. Our best kept secret is smile. And solidarity will lead us to victory. See you. Bună ziua. We are Team Romania. I'm Petu and I like competition. I'm Ioana and I love debating. I'm Rebecca and I like to sing and play the guitar. I'm Mara and I make the best brownies. I'm Hannah and I love traveling. Bună ziua! We are Team Romania. Our competitive advantage is the ambition to excel in everything we do. Our best kept secret is our ability to work under pressure. It will lead us to victory because we can remain results oriented. We wish everyone good luck. Oh, we 
I'm Neil Silfong from high school athlete at the University of China. For facts about me, I play drums in the first pop song. Hello, my name is Paul Hong Zhang. I'm from Nanjing Foreign Language School. Fun fact about me is that I was a, a professional badminton player. Hi, I'm Su Si Yan from Nanjing Foreign School. I love fencing. Hi, I'm Qi Ming Yuan, and I've known Su Si Yan for 10 years. Hi, I'm Yin Ziyang, and I'm also from Nanjing Foreign Language School, Great Lightning. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Yin Ziyang. We are here to prove we make that joke and have invisible hands. Ciao! I'm Jacobs and I've yet to study economics in school. My name is Andres and I like minion memes on Facebook. Balt finds economic collapse exciting. I am Roberts and I'm a Christian. Hi, I'm Emmy Olsen. I drive tractors. Carlos loves econ because it cares for people. I'm Norris and I wonder, do crabs think we're walking sideways? And we are Team Latvia. Sveits and I. We are Team Latvia, and our competitive advantage is our diversity. Our secret is right here, on this piece of paper. But sadly, we cannot reveal it. As then, it will not be our best kept secret anymore. Namaste, we are Team India. Namaste, my name is Kunal Arora, and I like to play basketball. Kem Cho, I'm Vidar Shah and I love playing cricket and talking politics. Namaste, I'm Pranav Gupta and I like to play guitar. Satsriya Khan, my name is Sahil Ahuja and an interesting fact about me is that I love to play badminton and eating. Namaste, I am Tranjal and I play tennis and debate. What is our key to victory? Well, let us first assume we have a key to victory. No, but seriously, we have a key to victory and that is experimentation. Namaste. India's competitive advantage is our multilingual population that increases our global competitiveness. You want to know about India's best kept secret? If it's a secret, why would I disclose it? But if you must know, it is India's unity in diversity. With our team members coming from different locations, we have a host of diverse experiences that power us to get victory in IO. Thank you. Thank you. Здравейте. My name is Karolina and I come from the Kodi city in Bulgaria. Здравейте. I'm Michael Vasilev and I have a really interesting hobby on which we craft models and showcase them. Привет, my name is Silma and I'm interested in economics and geopolitics. Здравейте, my name is Polina, I was born in France and I lived in the United Kingdom. Hello, my name is Alexander Milodinov, I'm very interested in economics and I'm driven by the passion to learn and expand my capabilities in life. Здравейте, красива Bulgaria. We come from a country with a great history. Built on the fighting spirit of our ancestors. We bear their fighting spirit and wisdom. That's what makes us strong, creative and entrepreneurial. Hello everyone, my name is Yerosel and I love songs from 50s and 60s. Hi, I'm Dana and I'm quite fond of jazz. Hi everyone, my name is Nadat and I love ice cream. Hello, my name is Sunya and I enjoy riding a unicycle. My name is Nursad and besides economics, I like biology. Increasing marginal utility of knowledge. And people with a diversity of thoughts and skills. Will lead our country to... Victory! victory. I'm Adewale Shodari and the team leader of the Nigerian team to 2021 International Economics Olympiad. We are a winning team. Um, it is our first time, but we are sure to win. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Oetunji Yusra from Nigerian Tumit International College, Ogun State, Nigeria. Writing each round in the NEO exam, I feel like I was going to lose, but then here I am. It was quite challenging, though, but it was worth it. Thank you. 
I'm Rodi Akir. I'm from Nigerian Philippine International from Ogun State, Nigeria. Participating in the IE has been fun and educative and I have learned a lot of things along the way. Hey everyone, I'm Jela Samachukwemeka. I'm 17 years old. I school at Dorothy International Secondary School at Bahadia State, Nigeria. I'm happy to have been selected as one of this year's participants in the International Economics Olympiad. I love reading and writing and I also hope for a beautiful experience this year. Thank you. I am Missy Bojoy. I'm Peter Mfonobo. We are representing Nigeria at the 2021 International Economics Olympiad. We shall make our country proud. Thank you. I am Zanis and I can understand six languages, so I'm just speaking three of them. Vita, I'm Liz. I'm fond of fantasy books and board games. What's more, I'm left-handed. Привет, I'm Alexey from Moscow. I enjoy programming, traveling, sports and sight. Привет, My name is Ilya and I can barely live a day without studying economics. Привет, all of us come from different backgrounds and our multifaceted experience gives us diverse points of view on modern problems, leading Belarus to success. Uh, my name is Alberto, I'm the coach and I love Mexican football. Hi, I'm Salvador and I love basketball. Hi, I'm Paulina. I love learning and meeting with people. Hi, I'm Sophie, and I can speak four languages. Hi, I'm Gonzalo, and I love no voivo. Hi, I'm Jair, and I love tacos. Bienvenido, Dios. Hola. Hola. Hola. The competitive advantage of our country is that we're charming and hardworking. The best secret of Mexico is nice people and tequila. We will get the victory through hard work and effort. Bienvenido, Dios. Pleasure to meet you, at least the first 25% of you. The rest is yet to follow. But now, dear friends, you know, Riga, the capital of Latvia, is a truly inspiring city. And who else could better let you know the true values of Riga than some local insiders? Here will be some insider stories. And the first one of them will be no one else than the local tennis star Alona Stapenko, who, speaking about Olympics and Olympiad, was the Latvian flag bearer just a few days ago in Tokyo. Once upon a time in Riga, there was a girl. Her name was Alyona, and she loved to hit some balls. More balls, please. Aliona could tell you all about ball hitting in Riga. For example, restaurants are great for practicing precision. Sorry. Rumor is, her skills were mostly perfected in the many art galleries of Riga. Some say her ball playing itself was a piece of art. Asked about her favorite court in Riga, Aliona is short. Riga, Irmans, welcome. However, things weren't always so rosy. Locals complained about traffic getting clogged. At times, you couldn't even open your mouth without tasting a tennis ball. That was too much even for Riga, and Yona went away. But then... That's right. Aliona went to the French Open and became a champion. A new star was born. The best ball hitter in the world. <laughs> now everyone is crazy about balls in Riga. But Aliona... Aliona is back to business as usual. Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Come to Riga and hit some balls. This is for writing. This for erasing. These are her notes. And this is her, the teacher from Riga. Say this, Divi. 
she teaches physics during the day. At night, she teaches Riga nightlife. For example, is the curve better than a straight line? How much pressure to apply for a perfect pop? How to use the law of attraction in your favor? Or, for that matter, the law of rejection? Or, is singing off key just a matter of taste? Sometimes she takes her classes outdoors. What next? Maybe it's time to witness Newton's third law. With each drink, there's an equal bite. And if no other bodies are exerting an influence on her body, it's time to get back to work. Come to Riga and get a degree in nightlife. Time to get back to work. Well, I'm not sure if all your teachers are like that, and I can't promise you that all the teachers are in Riga just like the lady here, but as I mentioned, it truly is an inspiring place, as you could clearly see. But now, time to get to know the teams, part number two. Uh, I'm Thea Paris. Uh, for fun, I like to play volleyball. I'm 18 years old. I love to take photographs. Uh, Viva, my name is Simon and uh, I like meeting new people. Zdravo, my name is Luka. I'm thinking of going to uh, design college in Rijeka. Nordan, my name is Patrick. I'm an economy student and in my free time I play chess and I study Japanese. We are Team Bakana on the original boat Bakana. Zdravo. Nordan! Ciao. Oh. Viva! We're a small country. It's a huge opportunity. Support for a common goal leads us to success. Together to victory! Croatia! Hi, my name is Pichaya, but you can just call me by my nickname, C. My name is Fovarej, my nickname is Dean. Hello, oh, I'm Hans Laksinella, or you can call me Airbus. Hello, I'm Philip Haidalogan, or you can call me Grammy. Hello, I'm Pong the Park Boy with Likit, or you can call me Boar, and we are Team Thailand. Sorry, Khan. Sorry, Khan. Sorry, Khan. We are Team Thailand, and our competitive advantage is that we're always smiling. Sorry. Hi, we are the Australian team, and I'm Angela from Royston Girls School in Melbourne. I'm Justin from Trinity Grammar, Melbourne. I'm May from Rumenzel School for Girls, Sydney. I'm Roger Liu from Wesley College, Melbourne. I'm Isabella from Methodist Ladies College, Melbourne. And we are really excited to represent Australia at the IEO this year. We come from a country of multiculturalism. So we are open-minded and super creative. Our team will work resiliently to gain our final victory. To tell you a secret, some of us do eat kangaroo meat. Добрый день. Hello, my name is Boris and I enjoy playing video games. Hello, my name is Margo and I love mathematical models. Hello, I'm Sonia and I dream of becoming a cosmic tourist. Hello, I'm Max and I'm a huge fan of music. Hello, my name is Misha and I love playing football and Russian Federation. Let's take a look at our country's competitive advantage. Russia regularly takes first place in the list of the world's least friendly countries. Our country's best kept secret is that the only place where you can find polar bears in Moscow is the Moscow Zoo. How will it lead to our team victory? The polar bear is our mascot and it will bring us luck. I'm Claire, and I like singing and organizing. I'm Charlie, and I like to play the piano and play chess. Hi, I'm Boris. I like fencing and volunteer work. 
Hi, I'm Vivian. I like to do embroidery and play video games. Hi, I'm Letitia, and I like cooking and baking. Namaste. I am Arjun Sapkota, the president of Nepal Economics Olympiad, team leader for IEO 2021. Namaste. I am Zivan Barzan, team leader of Nepal. Hello, I'm Arya and I like watching anime. Namaste, I'm Nirajan from Nepal and I love to play basketball. Hello, I'm Pratik Kaista and I love gardening. Namaste everyone, this is Pratir from Team Nepal and I love cycling around Kathmandu. Namaste, I'm Samir Chetri. I like to stay updated myself with current affairs. Namaste, we are Team Nepal. And at IEO 2021, we're not just representing Nepal, but also representing Momos. Found that press. Buddha. Frida. And our favorite, Dalbat. Hi, we're Canada and we're going to introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm the proud owner of 70 Music Playlists. I'm Andy, and I want to study philosophy. Hi, I'm Angelina, and I've been at more than 10 schools. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm recording this from New York. Hello, my name is Olivia. I am most interested in microeconomics theory. In my spare time, I love to play violin and read. Our competitive advantage is maple syrup. Canada is not as cold as people think. This can be confirmed by almost everybody who moves to Canada from different parts of the world. It is a multinational country with friendly people. Having different backgrounds and being able to analyze a problem from different points of view will lead our team to victory. Siemanko! We are Team Poland! My name is Kinga and I like volleyball. My name is Shimon and this year I've issued my first treasury bill. My name is David and I'm interested in psychology. My name is Victor and in my free time I enjoy working out. My name is Oliver and I am interested in social sciences. Our competitive advantage? The ability to pull on nighters when necessary. Our country's best kept secret is a UFO in Katowice. How will we use it to win? We can sell it in the financial literacy game. Salam Sejatara. Salama Sejatara. Salama Sejatara. I'm Yashin from Malaysia and I love to play futsal. I'm Noor Fadila from Malaysia and my favorite food is nasi lemak. My name is Hamidi. I'm the team leader for Malaysia. I'm Arvin from Malaysia and I love playing badminton. I'm Big Lee, turning 19 this year and I love stargazing. My name is Austin. I'm from Penang, Malaysia and I love sushi. Hi, I'm Dr. Wei from Malaysia. I'm 17 this year and my favorite food is chicken rice. We are coached by industry expert Mr. Hamidi and our team also includes former IEO medalists. We always look out for each other and make sure no one is left behind. True learning from each other's strong points will reinforce each other and it's going to be the driving force to our victory. Salve! We are in Brazil, I'm Tomás, and I once crashed Maker's Lecture at Harvard when I was passing by. I am Carolini, and I lived in four different states of Brazil. I'm Caio, and the first plane I took, I was two weeks years old. My name is Sean, and I love surfing. I'm Nicholas. I'm Sebastião, and, and we, we are, are high, high, high in mind. I'm Vitor, and I have the longest name that I know of. I'm Germano, and I founded an economics Olympiad before knowing economics. Lastly, this is Maximus, and he is our mascot. Our competitive advantage is our grit. Our best kept secret is the story of the duck. And how will that help us win? Well, it's been working so far. Xin chào. Hi. Xin chào. Hey guys. Xin chào. I'm Ki and I like long walks on the beach. My name is Ken. I love Sherlock Holmes. My name is Thuyen. I'm from Vietnam and I love reading books. I'm Ka. What I like is watching anime and playing games. I'm Ming and I like beat, beat, beat, beat boxing. 
Our competitive advantages are on our name. Vibrant, illimitable, enthusiastic, talented, natural, artistic, and mysterious. We, we are Vietnam. Vietnam. Econ is not part of our school syllabus. And therefore, we still study a lot. And we'll be most prepared for the competition. Thank you for sharing your stories and your secrets with us. Dear friends, another of the partners of this event that I mentioned at the beginning is no one else than the University of Latvia. And they really are honored because for them, hosting this Olympiad is the highest form of acknowledgement based on the work that they have done on the Olympiad board and the jury panel so far. They really are honored to welcome you. And who knows, one day you might study there. So let's have a look at the University of Latvia. Welcome to the University of Latvia. The University of Latvia is the largest comprehensive research university in our country. The University of Latvia was founded in 1919, one year after the independence of Latvia was established. Since then, the development of the university has been closely linked with the development of our country. The mission of the University of Latvia is expressed in short by its slogan, Scientiae et Patriae, for science and fatherland. The university is here to foster the development of our country by providing excellent education, internationally competitive research, and services for the needs of society. The university covers a wide spectrum of research disciplines, theology and medicine, law and languages, physics and education, business and environmental science. The most popular study programs are computer science, law, medicine, and communication. The University of Latvia is ranked among the top 2.5% of the world's best higher education institutions. Our priorities for studies are quality, modernization, and internalization. The vision of the University of Latvia is to become one of the leading research universities in the Baltic region. The number of research papers published in international journals rises by 10% annually. Top research areas at the university include innovative information technologies, quantum computing algorithms, material science, nanotechnology, optical laser and medical physics, mathematical methods of process modeling, regenerative medicine, and sustainable use of environmental resources. In addition, the university has a special responsibility regarding the research of Latvian language, history, and culture. The technologies created by the scientists at the University of Latvia are transferred to local and international businesses using contractual research and licensing of the results, as well as innovative instruments, agreements on effective cooperation. By 2023, the University of Latvia will concentrate most of its research and studies at a new campus in the Tornikons region, just 10 minutes walking distance from the historical Riga city center on the left bank of the Daugava River Welcome to the leading University of Latvia. Welcome, and we will definitely find out more about the University of Latvia just a little later. But now, it's time to continue exploring the teams. Part number three. Hello, my name is Jayon John and I like eating salmon. Hi, I'm Yu Song Hong and I love economics and sustainability. My name is Jimmo Kang and I like watching football. Hi, my name is Minza Kim and I like playing lacrosse. Hello, my name is Brian Jong and I like playing football. Good luck. Good luck. Our competitive advantage is that we work hard. Our secret is that we work very hard. We will win by working very, very hard. Hello, my name is Ana Maria Maria Tsukura. I am from Greece and my hobbies are swimming and basketball. Hi, I'm Vasilis Malasidis. I come from Greece and my hobbies are play taekwondo and traveling. Hi, my name is David Begijanian, I represent Greece and the hobby of mine is astrophotography. Hi, I'm Gostadinos de Lepis, I'm from Athens, Greece and I'm 17 years old. My favorite hobby is kickboxing. Hello everybody, my name is Aristotle and I always like a challenge. 
Hello, my name is Eva and I like to study at Olympia training camp in our high school. Hey, my name is Sahib. I like business case competitions and startup contests. Hello, my name is Leila. I like team sports and investments. Hello, my name is Diana. I like drawing and training organizations. Salam, this is the stand-up from the Blitz, so keep Eva, Leila and Jana Diana. Bizden ülkü Azianin tak ortasında yerleşkan. Bizden ülkünün atan tıştık artıkçılığı Evropa ve Azianin ortasında transportluk transitik potansiyalı. İlke bize emin yeli süre tarihi jatan kısmın bulunu bilişi bizde. Biri bir bizde ota oğuz aralıkta da şaybız. Eki min atızmışın şılğa çiğin dünedü bir milyar sınarı pıçmın balon. Biz oz komanda bizi zilişke sileyibiz. Sveiki, my name is Augustas and I'm the president of my school student council. Hi, my name is Radblas. I can predict if I'm going to have a headache next day from what I dream. Labas, my name is Karolina and I watch videos at double speed. Sveiki, I'm Rapolis. Fun fact, I once participated in one in a popular Lithuanian quiz show. Labadiena, we are Team Lithuania, and Lithuania is among the best countries in the world for fintech. We aren't so sure about our country's best kept secrets, but we have the necessary curiosity to find out that will hopefully help us emerge victorious. Persundetia, hello everyone! I am Laura Shevshi, and I am Team Leader A for Team Albania. Hello everyone! I am Yunida Valiu and I am Team Leader B for Team Albania. Hi everyone, I am Lydia Leray and I am a professional swimmer. Hi everyone, I am Mario Popa and I can speak 5 foreign languages. Hi everyone, I am Elisa Demneri and I have a passion for math and biology. Hi everyone, I am Enya Boci and I love art and design. Hi everyone, I am Anna Bamlari and I love learning about natural sciences. The key to victory is work with passion and be focused. Interesting fact, in our national language we don't call our country Albania, but we call it Cipria. Mother Teresa, an Albanian national, is one of the 20th century's greatest humanitarians. And Skanderbeg is our national hero. Albanians have a keen passion for social sciences. We are very focused. And this mindset will lead our team to victory. Shagatom, this is Al Amin Parviz, team leader A of Bangladesh team. And an interesting fact about me that I got COVID two times and I am still surviving. Thank you. Hello, Shagatom. I am Mr. Akhtar Ahmed, team leader B. Interesting fact about me, I can drive a rickshaw. Thank you. Shagatom, I am Swed Mashutesi. An interesting fact about me is that I play the piano. Shagatom, I am Farhan Mashru and an interesting fact about me is that I am fascinated about the outer space. Shagatom, I am Samin Sarwa and an interesting fact about me is that I like heavy metal music. Shagatom, I am Prashant Chudash and the most interesting fact about me is that I can write with both hands. Shagatom, I am Swishti Shejiti Halder and one interesting fact about me is that I am a traditional dancer and singer. So what is your country's competitive advantage? We, we can, can push ourselves to great heights. heights. What is best kept secret of Team Bangladesh? We are all Bengal Tigers at heart. How Bangladesh team will lead to victory and championship? Bengal Tigers never give up. Great team.
Hello, I'm Mateusz and I like sports shooting. Hello, I'm Martin, I like skiing. Hi, I'm Michael and I'm the twin brother of Martin. Hey, I'm Philip and I like sustainable finance. We're always on time and we always follow the rules. We have an amazing banking sector, which include banks like UBS, that help us um, succeed in this Olympiad. So we got that banking system going for us, and because we have that, we have like all those numbers and can do like big brain calculations, and that's our competitive advantage. Two, one, let's go! Wave at the camera, smile! <laughs> Hi, I'm Lucifer and I play kids. Hi, I'm Mihan and I can't contain my laugh. Hi, I'm Natasha Pereira. I play violin. Hi, I'm Manupur. I love to travel, especially to go on safaris. Hi, I'm Dasun and I love reading and watching movies. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Competitive advantage is coordination. Our country's best kept secret is being well prepared. Because victories achieved when opportunities meet the pre preparation. New Zealand team, this is Zealand's best kept secret. Zealand's best kept secret is our coffee. And this will lead to victory as we become nocturnal. And with a competitive advantage, Kiwis are nocturnal creatures. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Hi there, my name's Evan, and my interesting fact is I've played football. Hi, I'm Max, and an interesting fact about me is that I'm a die-hard Chelsea supporter. Hi, I'm Philip. An interesting fact about me is that I was actually born on Labor Day. Oh, hi, I'm Cody, and I like running. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and I have a pet. So hi guys, uh, this is another greeting from Cambodia. My name is Victor Nee and I'm team leader of Cambodian team. Actually, I'm from Kazakhstan. Hello, team from Kazakhstan. My native language is Russian. Hello, team from Russia. But I'm Korean. Good luck, guys. My name is Yusuf and I'm from Cambodia. And one interesting fact about me is I know how to drink chili smoothie. Believe it or not, but yeah. So, my name is Chum Nupun, and an interesting fact about me is that I've actually met a princess of the British monarch. Hello everyone, my name is Jin Tao and I'm from Cambodia. An interesting fact about me is that I chose to study the major of economics and finance only because I want to pick good stocks and become the second Warren Buffett. Hello everyone, my name is Bonia and I'm 16 and I'm from Cambodia. And one interesting fact about me is that I have visited the largest Buddha statue in Japan. Hi, my name is Edgar and one interesting fact about me is that I'm hosting this event. But uh, coming back to the University of Latvia that I already mentioned to you, well, one day you really might end up studying there. So if so, you most probably will choose the Faculty of Business, Management and Economics. So let's have a look. Diploma of University of Latvia, Faculty of Business, Management and Economics speaks for itself. The faculty has given Latvia best economists finance experts, managers and entrepreneurs. It is hard to imagine a company, state or municipal organization which has no faculty alumni working there. The biggest student business incubator in Latvia is operating in the faculty as well, providing the students with an opportunity to have a go at business, to create and sell their very own first products and the newly opened photo and video studio allows to create first professional marketing materials. Every year, the best students are granted a support for up to 6,000 euro to implement their business idea. According to the data provided by State Revenue Service of Latvia, 99% of the faculty alumni are employed and working for a successful career. University of Latvia Faculty of Business Management and Economics 
has 20 accredited bachelor's, master's, and doctor's degree study programs with more than 100 state-funded and 1,000 privately funded places. Therefore, 2,000 local and foreign students from across the world are studying and receiving competitive education here. The faculty is proud of friendly student services and best lecturers who provide students with practically applicable knowledge and professional skills while engaging students in various research projects. Remember that people with a degree earn at least 50% more than people with a lower level of education. Register and start studying right now. University of Latvia, Faculty of Business, Management and Economics, best business education in Latvia. Additional information at business.lu.lv Excellent place and brilliant minds, just as yours. And speaking about you, there are 10 more teams to discover, so let's have a look. Hello, my name is Diego Podia Portugal, and apart from economics, I like history. Hi, my name is Pararenio, and I like playing golf. Good luck. Hola, I'm Pablo, and apart from economics, I also love basketball. Hola, my name is Carmen, and apart from economics, I like rock music. Hola, buenas, my name is Miguel, I like playing basketball and going to the cinema. Good luck to everyone. Hello there, I'm Sayed, I'm 17, I'd love to be professional in investments and economies. Hello, my name is Miad and I'm interested in stock trading. Hello everyone, my name is Zahra and I'm interested in economy and economic development. Hello, this is Sanam, I really like business and I want to reach my goal in this path. Hello everyone, I'm Mehdi, I'm interested in macroeconomics and public management. Hi, I'm Pat from Ireland and I love Celtic symbols. Hi, my name's Diego and I like to play soccer. Hi, I'm Ellie from Ireland and I'm a Ireland champion on the Tomuso. Hi, my name's Ali and I'm from Ireland and I like to play Gaelic football. My name's Phelan Campbell from Team Ireland and my interests include swimming and debating. Neil Nyar, go for Gaelic. Hi, we're the U.S. national team, and I'm Sanya Mahate, and I play the piano. Hi, I'm Sam Lehman, and my favorite color is red. Hi, I'm John Michaels, and I enjoy playing soccer. I'm Deshaun Reddy, and I have a dog. I'm David Lehman, and I play a trumpet. Our competitive advantage is our entrepreneurial spirit. Our best kept secret is our textbook, Mukano Bufin, Economics 19th Edition. And the secret to our success is rereading it 19 times. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Joanna and I have seven siblings. I'm Joaquin and I'm afraid of my own dog. I am Rita and I don't know how to ride a bike. My name is Rodrigo and I like to play guitar. My name is David and I love to learn things about flex. Hello. Hello. Hi, I am Nadine and I'm a tennis player. Hi, I'm Bashar and one interesting fact about myself is that I like philosophy. Hi, I am Tamer al Fatih, and one of my hobbies is creative writing. I am Yusuf al Sanaa and I love to use the power of big data to solve economical problems. Our country's competitive advantage is its economical crisis. 
And our secret is that this crisis gave all the youth in Lebanon an underlying economic literacy which can help us win the competition. Hola, somos Team Colombia. I'm Daniel and I'm ambidextrous. Hola, mi nombre es Daniel and despite being Colombian, I don't like to drink coffee. Hola, mi nombre es Simón and I don't like vegetables. Hola, I'm Laura and I practice karate since I was six years old. Hola, soy William and an interesting fact about me is that I'm in love with someone of my team. Somos el equipo Colombia. And our country's competitive advantage is that we always fight for what's ours. And the best kept secret Colombia is that there are dozens of times of arepa. We will lead our team to victory because we are fighters and we always achieve what we want. Hola, me llamo Luis Adorso Nubie, soy Ecuador. And a fun fact about me is that I'm pretty decent at a, a lot of racket sports like tennis and table tennis and things like that. Eh, hola, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Sebastián. Eh, I was born and raised in Quito, the capital city of Ecuador. And a fun fact about me is that I love chocolate ice cream. Hola, me llamo Antonio Cosaya y soy el equipo ecuatoriano para estas Olimpiadas de Letonia. I think that the best advantage we have is our persuasive speaking. And the best secret we have is the way of making friends. And I think by doing our hard work and being perseverant, we can win these Olympics. Hola, mi nombre es María Laura y estoy representando a Ecuador en las Olimpiadas Internacionales de Economía de este año. A fun fact about myself is that I am also from Colombia. We represent Uzbekistan in this competition by our team named Profit Team. Hello, my name is Amin and I am leader of this team and even manager at the same time. Hello, my name is Elvira. I am the brain of this team. My name is Dasha and I am responsible for language translations in our team. My name is Jasmine and I am a motivational speaker of this team. I am Umar, I am IT manager of this team. It goes without saying that Uzbekistan is famous all over the world for natural, fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, for instance, it's our melon, the sweetest melon uh, in the whole world. The average salary per person in our country is around $300 per month. Besides this, standard family in Uzbekistan lives in a large house, has one or two cars per family, and traveling in summer annually in countries like Turkey and United Arab Emirates. Hello, my name is Hassan Bark, and an interesting fact about me is I have been to Riga, Latvia three years ago for another competition. Hi everybody, I'm Mira Children, who loves to interact with people. Hello, I'm Faru and I live by the Mediterranean. Merhaba, my name is Etia Can Demir and an interesting fact about me is that I have three dogs. Hi, I'm Soykan and an interesting fact about me is that I lived in Azerbaijan for five total years. Our competitive advantage is that Turkey is both a European and an Asian country. Our ability to exchange ideas, conduct trade and see other perspectives will lead our team to victory. Their participants, their friends, these were your stories. 44 national teams, more than 250 incredible participants from all around the world who will meet and compete digitally here in Riga and online. And how exactly is this going to happen? Well, let me ask someone who really knows about the course of the next days. No one else than the chairman of the steering committee, Martin Danusevic. Martin, uh, first of all, uh, true pleasure to have you here in our studio. I know that you are pretty excited, so uh, before really going to the exact schedule of the event, let me ask you, if you would have to describe your excitement with a number, speaking about economics, what number that would be? 42. 42? Will we also <coughs> hear an explanation why? No. Perfect. The answer to everything as we know is... 42. <laughs> is 42. Excellent. Well, so far we had a, a really brilliant and very dynamic day. 
But um, can the teams in Vietnam and Malaysia go to sleep or is there something else coming? Well, the day is not finished with this ceremony. We still have a few events today. So please remember, we have the Ask uh, Gregory Mankiw session later and icebreaking for those who want to get to know each other better. And as we spoke at the beginning, uh, Kazakhstan last year had this uh, big challenge to organize the first online event, which they brilliantly solved. So Latvia had to take it even a step further and make it even more digital. How exactly this online reality will happen and what do the teams need to know? Well, of course, the teams have to remember that the mo uh, all the activities will happen on our platform. So this is the, the site you have all been re registered to. And please remember then all the competitions will basically start from this site. And uh, it really is a week of events, a week of uh, challenges, competitions. So what are the highlights and what are the things not to be missed for the delegates? Well, of course, we start tomorrow with the first competition on the financial literacy game. So please remember that you have to also connect in time before the 12 uh, UTC. So you have enough time to, to log in and get authorized. And then we continue on Wednesday with the economics competition also at the same time. And that, of course, will be longer because that is the most, I would say, important part due to the, uh, to the percentage of points you get in economics uh, contest. And of course, don't forget about business competition. It will be revealed on Wednesday at 23.59 UTC. So that, that will be a business case uh, created by our great partners and smart people at EY Latvia. And it will be revealed at a specific minute and you will have 24 hours to solve the business case. And then we'll meet on Friday in Zoom for presentations. And of course, in the end, we will all meet again. And I guess we'll see you too, right? Well, uh, I hope that uh, I was hoping that you will mention probably the most important part of this event, of course, the closing and the award ceremony on Sunday, where I will all see you as well. But Martin, before I let you go today, and I know that you are very busy and you still have to prepare for a lot of things. Well, the teams shared their best kept secrets with us. Can you share not your secret, but a secret that might help them to win? So a bit of background information or your tips and tricks, how to really nail this competition? Well, I would say there might be a few tricks. Firstly, you can always take a nap. <laughs> Secondly, well, if you have to study now, I guess it's too late. So you should, be have, you should have been ready by now. So just relax a bit. And sometimes being relaxed uh, lets you compete better than being too stressed. Stay focused, stay relaxed and take a nap at the right moment. Yep. Martin Zanusevich, uh, the head of the steering committee. And guys, keep your fingers crossed for their brilliant job as well. Thank you and good luck for the rest Thank of you. the week. And now, dear friends, a sacred moment, you could even say, of this event, the oath ceremony. And for that, we have invited uh, three participants. As uh, the old model of the ancient world, also this event is held by three groups, the three whales. And each of these groups will be represented by one very, very special chosen person. And the first one of them to represent the contestants, we are digitally going to Malaysia. And I have the honor to invite Arvind Asokan to give his oath. Arvind, are you ready? Yes. Well, I know it's a little bit late in Malaysia, but I hope that the night will become a bit brighter and we will hear and see you. Although, yes, it is pretty, pretty late in Malaysia. That's for two. Arvind, I, th I think I already hear something. Okay. In the name of all contestants, I promise that we shall take part in the International Economics Olympiad, respecting and abiding by the rules that govern it, committing ourselves to a fair competition for the glory of science and the honor of our teams. Thank you, Arvin. Uh, we didn't really see you, but we felt the importance of your voice. And I know that uh, it's a little bit late, so we will forgive you that it was a little bit dark, as I mentioned. But thank you for giving the oath in the name of all the participants and the contestants. 
But now, giving the uh, oath in the name of the team leaders, no one else than uh, the legendary Pat Egan and his bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of all of the coaches and other members of the athletes entourage, I promise that we shall commit ourselves to ensuring that the spirit of fair play is fully adhered to and upheld in accordance with the rules of the Olympiad. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. And uh, that was Pat Egan from Ireland representing the team leaders. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, representing, I would say, the whole world, we have Bekhod Kashimov, who will uh, represent the jury members. Bekhod. Hi, I'm Bezal Hashimov, uh, and here is my oath. In the name of all the judges and officials, I promise that we shall officiate in the International Economics Olympiad with complete impartiality, respecting fairness, abiding by the rules, and trying to build the Olympiad's good reputation. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh Thank you, dear uh, participants, dear contestants, dear team leaders, and of course, the jury. Guys, don't forget about the jury. They really have to work very hard to make this competition so transparent, so equal, and uh, keep this diversity work that is among you. So uh, really, I think virtually we can give a big round of applause to the jury as well. So our three whales have uh, spoken who held this event. The three oaths have been spoken as well. But now there is still something missing, and its uh, I can't really say it's a detail, it's actually a very crucial event. In the final episode of every Olympic game, there is the speech which says the games are really opened. So, Daniel, I'm turning back to you, as I said, uh, don't go too far from the screen, because today we still will have the chance to speak with each other and I think this is a very emotional moment to you as well. For the fourth time, you have the honor to officially open the Olympiad. But before I do, let me ask you something. Why are you making me so red in your video? Is it because I'm from Russia or what? So, um, anyway, yes, this is a very pleasant moment and um, I'm really looking forward to the competition. I looked through all the introductory videos from our 40 plus countries, and I now am absolutely certain that our contestants are the most talented and the most ambitious and the most skilled uh, students in the world. So let's see who of them win. We will see this in just a few days. And in order to see this, we have to organize the competition itself. And in order to do this, I now officially say that the International Economics Olympiad 2021 Latvia is now open. I can almost hear your applauses, dear friends. But yes, this is really the time to clap your hands. If you are just awakened, if you are still already or awakened, or if you are already going to the bed, because it is quite late in some countries, but this is the moment that you all have been waiting for so long, to be precise, a year. Thank you, Daniel, for these uh, very important uh, words for the opening of this Economics Olympiad. And I can only well, repeat the same that you said yourself, dear friends, in all your uh, introduction videos. You are true fighters and you will prove it this week. You are the superheroes of this event and Latvia will give you the power to really shine during this event. And you also really are real team players and that will be shown during this week as well. I wish you all the best. I wish you the best of success. As I mentioned, I will personally see you on Sunday for the closing and the award ceremony. But till that, all the best, all the success in the world, and make it shine.